Good morning. As we gather again on Thursday, Thursday morning of third week of uh, Easter, let us take a moment to look and see how we do it in the week as we prepare ourselves to celebrate in John one heart, one faith, celebrate the Eucharist. So let us begin in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. Today is a mark, today mark the anniversary of the fall of Saigon. Personally for me as a Vietnamese, it's quite significant. It's marked a new beginning for many Vietnamese who live in the United States. But at the same time marking the whole human experience that how that we are in the midst of all this related to God in our own life. Especially the gospel today, the invitation of Jesus, come to understand He is the bread of life. So this morning, as we celebrate Eucharist, yes, we may not receive a physical host of Jesus, but spiritually, spiritually, we do receive Him. So let us take a moment to look at our shortcomings and thank God for the mercy and the grace in our life. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are sent at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, let us feel your compassion more readily during these days when by your gift we have known it more fully, so that those you have freed from the darkness of error may cling more firmly to the teachings of your truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your sons, who live and reign with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. of the apostles. An angel of the Lord addressed himself to Philip. Head south toward the road which goes from Jerusalem to Gaza, the desert route. Philip began the journey. It happened that an Ethiopian eunuch, a court official in charge of the entire treasury of Candice, a name meaning queen of Ethiopians, had come on a pilgrimage to Jerusalem and was returning home. He was sitting in his carriage reading the prophet Isaiah. The spirit said to Philip, go and catch up with that carriage. Philip ran ahead and heard the man reading the prophet Isaiah, and he said to him, do you really grasp what you are reading? How can I, the man replied, unless someone explains it to me. With that, he invited Philip to get in the carriage and sit down beside him. And this was the passage of scripture he was reading. Like a sheep, he was led to the slaughter. Like a lamb before its shear, he was silent and opened not his mouth. In his humiliation, he was deprived of justice. Who will ever speak of his posterity? For he is deprived of his life on earth. The eunuch said to Philip, tell me, if you will, of whom the prophet says this, himself or someone else. Philip launched out with this scripture passage as his starting point, telling him the good news of Jesus. As they moved along the road, they came to some water, and the eunuch said, look, there's some water right here. What is to keep me from being baptized? He ordered the carriage stop, and Philip down, went down into the water with the eunuch and baptized him. When they came out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord snatched Philip away, and the eunuch saw him no more. Nevertheless, the man went on his way rejoicing. 
Philip found himself at Azotus next, and he went about announcing the good news in all the towns until he reached Caesarea. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. to God. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Bless our God, you peoples, loudly sound his praise. He has given life to our souls, and he has not let our feet slip. Let all, all the earth cry out to God with joy. Hear now, all you who fear God, while I declare what he has done for me. When I appealed to him in words, praise was on the tip of my tongue. Let the earth cry out to God with joy. Blessed be God who refused me not my prayer or his kindness. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draw him. I will raise him up on the last day. It is written in the prophets, They shall all be taught by God. Everyone who has heard the Father and learned from him comes to me. Not, not that anyone has seen the Father, only the one who is from God has seen the Father. Let me firmly assure you, he who believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your ancestor ate manna in the desert, but they died. This is the bread that comes down from heaven, for a man to eat and never die. I myself, I'm the living bread. Come down from heaven. If anyone eats this bread, he shall live forever. The bread I the bread I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As we begin the Mass, I said today marking the anniversary of the fall of Saigon. And there's a lot of stories, a lot of stories from people who were in the re-education -edu camp. Re-education camp. And a lot of stories talk about the faith, the faith that how it was persevered throughout the whole ordeal of what, why they were in prison, in the camp. Even my uncle spent 12, 14 years in that, at that camp. And he talked about how, you know, faith is the only thing that he has to keep him alive, to keep him to where, uh, to live and proclaim and give witness to it. And one of the story was shared in the book, the biography book by Carlo Fensitron. He talked about when he was in prison. He was deprived of uh, wine and horse, he can celebrate mass. So one of the tricks that he able to do while he was in prison is that he sent out a little letter telling people that, you know, I have a digestive problem. I would need certain ailment. I need certain uh, wine to help me to uh, with the digestive system. Well, it's a code. It's a code for the, <clears throat> for the people to know what that means. So they brought him a, a small bottle of wine that he can use to celebrate Mass. Yes, he did. So each time that, each time that he celebrated Mass, he would do about two to three jobs of wine and he consecrated. And that is for him what kept him, kept his faith. And he shared that in his book, in his bio biography. The Living Bread. I think for us, Especially now, we're facing with the pande uh, pandemic. We are not physically with one another. But the human experience draw us to come to understanding something even greater than what we experience. First of all, we experience what God's love is. 
and the invitation of God is there always for us. Whether we like it or not, it's there. The next step for us is how do we respond to that with our own daily life, with what we do, that our action, our word, allow us to fully, to fully give witness to the truly living bread that we truly come to believe with our faith. So yes, today mark the fall of Saigon, but also marking the journey of faith for many of Vietnamese Americans who went through the whole ordeal and able to persevere with our faith, truly believe in giving the witness to the living bread. So now let us join with one heart, one voice, with one faith, to offer our prayer and petition. We pray for the church that we may allow Christ to bring forth abundant life within us and guide us in using our gift of life for God's glory. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We pray for all of us <clears throat> for a listen heart, that we who have been called by name may hear the voice of God, the Good Shepherd, and respond confidently to God's invitations. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. During this time, we also pray for all the unemployed, that God will help them to find the resources that they need and open a new opportunity for them for their use of gift. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We pray for all the frontline workers, nurses, doctors, um, that God will continue to be with them, protect them from harm and their families. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We pray for all who have died, particularly those from COVID-19, that the Good Shepherd will welcome them into the fullness of life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We pray for all the intense and young adults yesterday we were meeting. So may God listen to them and be with them according to His will. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We also pray for our own intention deep and silent in our own hearts, especially for the intention of today's Mass that we recorded in the book. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, the Father of mercy and love, we ask you to listen to our prayer and grant them according to your holy will. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. The fruit of the earth and the work of human hands is will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the one we offer you. The fruit of the vine and the work of human hands is will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and the good of all the church and church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effects in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, let us, we have come to know your truth. We may, we may make it ours by worthy way of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It, it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. As all times to acclaim you, O Lord, 
but in this time above all to love you yet more gloriously. When Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, for which the old order is showing, a, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with pastoral joy, every land, every people exalt in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together an ending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed into willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the breath of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray. That partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and David our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with blessed apostles, and all the saints who plead you throughout the ages, we may mercy be poor hands to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. As Savior command and formed by divine teaching, let us together pray the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, 
peace I leave you and my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of the church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with Amen. your spirit. Let offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, if you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, if you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, if you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who call to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. spiritual communion. My Jesus, my Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the Blessed Sacrament. I believe that you are truly present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things. I love you above all things. And I desire that you reside always in my soul. And I desire that you reside always in my soul. Since I cannot at this time since I cannot at this time receive you sacramentally. Receive you sacramentally. Please come spiritually into my heart. Please come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you and unite myself completely to you. I embrace you and unite myself completely to you. As though you were already there. As though you were already there. Please, Lord. Please, Lord. Do not ever let me be separated from you. Do not ever let me be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously be, pre be present to your people, we pray, O oh Lord. And lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Thank you for joining us this morning. Uh, 10 30 we will have we will have a continuation of the spirituality conversation with father Tom so 10 15 so enjoy your day stay safe and stay healthy have a good day <laughs>